Warning, warning, warning. Every installment of the massive channel review will contain spoilers. Hello and welcome to part 35 of the Mass of JMO review. If you have not seen part 1, please go back and watch it first, as it explains my whole reviewing process. Okay, let's get started. Today I am reviewing the number one medical show of its time, House MD. House was a medical drama that aired on the Fox Network from 2004 to 2012. I give this show a 5 out of 5 because in my opinion, it was flawless. I used to watch this show every week when I was in high school, and it was fun to rewatch all the episodes again. The premise of the show was that a team of diagnostic a neurosurgeon, an immunologist, an intensive care surgeon, and the head of diagnostic medicine would take on the hardest to diagnose medical cases and try to figure out what was wrong with the patient through trial and error. The thing that made it so interesting was the fact that the head of the department, House, was an antisocial, drug-addicted sociopath with a horrible bedside manner, yet he was always able to solve the hardest cases, usually by doing unethical or illegal things. That means I can do this. <laughs> We're gonna need some Epi in here, stat! Are you out of your mind? You said you didn't care. <laughs> Notice how you can't breathe? Uh, now, either that's the cane, or I just ruptured one of those liver cysts we were chatting about, and you've gone into uh, anaphylactic shock. Exactly the same way uh, your son did when he accidentally tripped against my friend's car. Uh, and I'm just so excited to find out which. Uh, <laughs> scheduled surgery. The entire cast, including extras and guest stars, were excellent. The casting department did a wonderful job of finding the best possible actor for each role. Hugh Laurie, in particular, was perfect in his performance. Come on in, brothers and sister. Welcome to the house of the Lord. House, come on. The chapel? We have been blessed with the miracle of a new symptom. Brother, can you testify as to why this poor child's eyeball rolled back into his head? It's consistent with Jimson weed poisoning, ocular paralysis. I'm sorry. The wicked shall deceive you because they have turned from the Lord, and our idiots, his ocular muscle didn't paralyze it, pirouetted. MS. It is easier for a wise man to gain access to heaven. Can you stop doing that? Just say not MS. Jennifer played Dr. Allison Cameron from season one through season six, and then returned again for the series finale in season eight. I hired you because you are extremely pretty. You hired me to get into my pants? I can't believe that that would shock you. It's also not what I said. No, I hired you because you look good. It's like having a nice piece of art in the lobby. I was in the top of my class. But not the top. I did an internship at the Mayo Clinic. You were a very good applicant. But not the best. Would that upset you? Really? To think that you were hired because of some genetic gift of beauty instead of some genetic gift of intelligence? I worked very hard to get where I am. But you didn't have to. People choose the paths that gain them the greatest rewards for the least amount of effort. That's a law of nature, and you defied it. That's why I hired you. You could have married rich, you could have been a model. You could have just shown up and people would have given you stuff. Lots of stuff. But you didn't. You worked your stunning little ass off. Am I supposed to be flattered? Gorgeous women do not go to medical school. Unless they're as damaged as they are beautiful. Were you abused by a family member? No. Sexually assaulted? No. But you are damaged, aren't you? Her character on paper seems very generic. She was the typical caring doctor who always tried to do the right thing for her patients. Let's get them out of here. It's easy for you to say. You're not going to be making some serious capital gains. This is cruel. And leaving him undiagnosed is what? Altruistic? The procedure worked. He's seizing. What do you see? Normal theta. Normal death. This isn't a seizure. Something. Mr. Mosek, are you okay? Off the page, Dr. Cameron had a backstory that even though it wasn't talked about in a particular episode, it was clear that it was used as inspiration for the character when she reacted in certain situations. When I was in college, I... I fell in love. I got married. And... At age, the chances of a marriage lasting. It lasted six months. Thyroid cancer metastasized to his brain. There was nothing they could do. I was 21, and I watched my husband die. 
at least a year before his death. You knew he was dying when you married him. Possibly when you first met him. And you married him anyway. You can't be that good a person and well-adjusted. Why? So you wind up crying over centrifuges. The wonderful thing about Jen's time on the series is that you could see how far she grew as an actress as the series progressed. At the beginning of the series, Jennifer's emotional scenes weren't as perfected as they are now. There was a great improvement that took place over the course of filming this show in regards to how she portrayed the emotional scenes. In the season 6 episode Lockdown, where the hospital is in lockdown with Cameron and Chase stuck in a room signing divorce papers, is when I believe the emotional scenes were perfected. Prior to then, she was good but nowhere near the level she is at now. The way she played that episode was so raw and so real. How can you even ask that? The first time you slept with me was because you're on crystal meth. I was on the drugs because I was emotional. It was the emotions that led to the sex, not the drugs. Not true. After that, you refused to let it go further than just sex. Because I knew I was falling for you and I didn't want to. And that never changed. You broke off our vacation because I bought you a ring. I got cold feet. I'm not proud. And then you almost called off our wedding because you couldn't give no. up the idea of having don't. your dead husband's baby. Don't bring him Because off. even then, you weren't sure about me. Maybe if I was dying when you married me, it That's would have been a bit fair. different. It's not only fair, it's exactly the point. He was dying when he met him, and he was gone just a year into the marriage. So it was all a honeymoon with him, and I could never match up to that. The first time, reality... Stop this! Him. Just tell me the truth! Oh, what? Did you ever love I me? I don't know! Thank you for finally telling me. <gasps> I applaud her for being able to pronounce the medical terms and perform them as if she actually understood on an educational level everything she was saying. Her character was always passionately fighting against House's unethical ideas. In these scenes, it is clear that she researched enough of the medical content so that her fighting came across as a genuine passion for why her character believed that her treatment plan was right. Really? He's got fluid in his lungs. Whatever are we going to do? Oh, yeah, now I remember. Put him on a treadmill and run him like one of his rats on a wheel. He can't run. He can hardly walk. It's because he's not trying hard enough. If he was, his heart rate would go up. Exercising with a lung full of your own bodily fluids tends to hurt. I don't call it a stress test for nothing. Do it again. He's drowning. Then pull him out of the pool and do it again. The way the characters interacted with each other was believable. The cast had great chemistry. I will watch the series again. I highly recommend it. Before, when I was talking about Brandon's girlfriend thinking sex could kill you, I was just making a joke because I was uncomfortable. Oh, I don't even remember what you said. I'm uncomfortable about sex. Well, we don't have to talk about this. Sex could kill you. Do you know what the human body goes through when you have sex? Pupils dilate, arteries constrict, core temperature rises, heart races, blood pressure skyrockets. Respiration becomes rapid and shallow. The brain fires bursts of electrical impulses from nowhere to nowhere, and secretions spit out of every gland. And the muscles tense and spasm like you're lifting three times your body weight. It's violent, it's ugly, and it's messy. And if God hadn't made it unbelievably fun, the human race would have died out eons ago. Men are lucky they can only have one orgasm. You know that women can have an hour-long orgasm? Hey, Foreman, what's up? Hey, Foreman. In a world of medical shows, this one stands out because it surpasses the rest in both entertainment value and in realism. So, I think maybe Grey's Anatomy got it all wrong? Come back next time when I will be reviewing How I Met Your Mother. See her again. Hey, Mosby! Yeah! Legalize it! Dude! Ready? Aim! Fire! Why, yes. Yes, I would see her again.